Hey, I'm Charlie. We're looking at my 1998 KX250. Uh, this has been a full restoration that a uh, gentleman did in the Midwest for the original owner. And it literally sat in his family room until I bought it from him. He never started it, never put gas in it since the rebuild. I think it's one of the cooler KX250s that I've seen, um, down to even the forks and how they finish the forks, the frame, the swing arm being all black. I just think he crushed the build. And if anybody knows who race number 141 is, I'd love to know. I don't know if he built it as his race number at the time, uh, or if that was a pro's race number. I have no idea. but. Um, I can't tell you too much on it because I wasn't the one that built it, uh, but they did a really, really good job. Um, I don't know, Massimo. This one's gonna be a short video for us. <laughs> <laughs> what's, uh, what's some of the specs on the bike? Do you know anything? No, for a 98, I don't. And I, I do have a 2005 as well, KX250. I just sold a 2000 um, to a buddy of mine. And I'm a big fan of these. You know, what's crazy about the KX250s, you could find them um, all day long in decent shape for four grand. And they're an amazing running bike. I have several friends that have them, um, anywhere from 98 to 2005 range. And, uh, you know, for the price range, for two stroke, four grand's good money if you could find a clean one. You know, I have so many bikes that I ride and race that just doesn't make sense for me to ride this one. Um, when I could ride a 2017 Wilhan, literally as close to factory built 250 as you could get. So there's no real reason for me to ride this when I could ride that one. Um, you know, with A-kit suspension and things like that. So this one is purely just for the collection. I love how it looks. A lot of people ask how your bikes always stay looking so new. I mean, we're in a nice air conditioned garage. It's probably hundred degrees outside and these bikes will never get over regular house temperature, uh, climate controlled, of course. And that's how you keep their stickers looking good. Um, you know, the graphics and everything else on it uh, is part of the reason why my bikes for years will always look good because they're always in consistent room temp, never too hot. And that's really what will fade plastic in graphics and things like that over time. And we did do a video posted a few weeks ago about how to store a bike that you don't ride very much. Oh yeah, so yes, that's true. Um, by the time this goes, um, that one, I think we're actually posting it in the next week or so. Yep. And so this probably will be weeks later when we post this one. But uh, yeah, if you guys know anything on race number 141, I'd really love to know who that is. It could just be the prior owner's race number. Um, that he had it built for himself, but never wrote it. Um, but again, let me know in the comments below. Hope you like it and we'll see you at the next one.